Hey, welcome back this morning. Glad you're here. Let's go to the last section in Lamentations chapter 4. Our reading is verses 20 to 22. And here's what it says. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was caught in their pits, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the nations. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, you who dwell in the land of Uz. The cup shall also pass over you, and you shall become drunk and make yourself naked. The punishment of your iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no longer send you into captivity. He will punish your iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will uncover your sins. So what we have here is the eventual punishment of Judah's enemies, and that is now that is now in sight, you see, from their perspective. God has sent the Babylon army. Uh, they have wreaked havoc. Israel is under chastening. The kingdom of Judah is under chastening. They have then slain so many and taken so many others into captivity. Now they're in that period, that period of chastening. And what's what comes after that? Restoration comes after that. So as hard as it's been to take this medicine along the way, God's people are coming to that place where they can say, hey, deliverance is going to come. Many times you and I go through trials in our lives, and it's hard to see through to the end. We're not quite sure when is this going to be over? What is God trying to accomplish? We don't necessarily have the answer to that right away. But what we want to do is trust him, trust him, and trust him. That's step one, two, and three. <laughs> trust him, trust him, and number three, trust him. And he will get us through. We're going to find out he was working on a, a remarkable arrangement that is better than anything we could have thought of on our own. And so God has our goodwill in his mind. He has all of our tears in a bottle. He knows what he's doing as he is uh, helping us and encouraging us and, and kind of helping us move forward in the battle. So let's trust him. Even though things sound discouraging, the Lord says here in 22, the punishment of your iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. That means that the chastening is going to come to an end. God is achieving his goals, and he's now going to move toward the restoration mode. And so that is the most joyful time to be in his service, especially when things have been wrecked, smashed, destroyed, apparently come to nothing. And yet you'll see, you'll see, God will bring awesome days out of hard and bad days, if only. We accept his gift of repentance and seek to be faithful. There's a lesson for us. If we endure, we shall reap the rewards of faithfulness. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to endure. Uh, we aren't used to enduring very much. We live in the push-button society, Lord, and we're not used to persevering. So you're having to train us in that and help us with that. Please carry on, Lord. Please go further. Please accomplish what you need to do in our characters. Help us to find how you're leading us and to step out and be faithful to that, even if it seems in the short term to, to be impossible or hopeless. Help us to look beyond the apparent hopelessness to the day of restoration. Lord, you are our God. We are your people. We will trust you and go forward. And come what may, we know that when we come through to the other side eventually, Lord, we will see much more clearly. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. You might not see through your current challenges right now, but one day, you and I, maybe not very far from now, we'll see much more clearly. And God will have all the glory. God be with you this day.